Hi, welcome to this video on the science of the popular Marvel character, the Hulk. On this channel, Synergy Files, we aim to inspire budding engineers and technicians for a better, more sustainable world, so please do subscribe to our channel. The Hulk is a prominent character in the Marvel comic universe. It is a symbol of rage and power, and also epitomizes the devastation caused by wars. Although it was conceived in the post-war era, its appeal hasn't withered over time. The contrasting alter ego and the Jekyll and Hyde play also makes the character interesting. So without further ado, let's look into the science of Hulk. In the comics, Bruce Banner's father, scientist David Banner, has been shown to be researching on the introduction of modified DNA sequences extracted from various animals to strengthen the human cellular response. David's research is denied human test subjects and he therefore conducts the experiment on himself. When his son is born, David finds out that Bruce may have inherited the modified DNA sequences. After Bruce's accidental exposure to gamma rays, he develops the ability to become Hulk, the green-skinned muscular humanoid. This happens whenever Banner is subjected to an emotional stress. Once the stress levels subside, the Hulk turns back into the more subdued and introverted character of Bruce Banner. Now it is scientifically known that DNA can be altered or even destroyed when exposed to gamma rays. Gamma rays are the most powerful electromagnetic radiation known to man, even more powerful than ultraviolet rays and 100 times stronger than X-rays. They have the ability to penetrate through solid walls. It requires 4.2 meters of water, about 2.2 meters of concrete or about 0.4 meters of lead to shield oneself from gamma rays. Gamma rays can damage DNA and cause it to mutate. Most mutations caused are dangerous to the health. The connection of gamma radiation exposure with birth defects is thoroughly established. Nonetheless, radiation has also been used to safely create new variety of seeds that enhance the quality of agriculture. High yield crops can be created that are also disease resistant. The same gamma rays can also be used for radiotherapy or for killing targeted cancer cells. So part of the theory that DNA can be modified using gamma rays is true. But that modification had never been attempted on humans until now. The first reports of genetically edited humans surfaced in July 2017, this genetical modification on human embryos was carried out not by means of radiation but through chemicals. This has started a whole new debate on ethical issues surrounding the made-to-order humans. Going back to the topic, we as humans are exposed to radiation at all times which scientists have termed as background radiation. The sources for background radiation can be multiple from cosmic rays to the decay of radioactive elements in our environment. It can also come from artificial sources such as the fallout from nuclear weapons testing and nuclear accidents. The biggest source of background radiation exposure is radon in the air. On average, the amount of radiation a human is exposed to every year is 3.01 millisieverts. The actual amount varies from country to country and area to area. The highest amount of background radiation that people are exposed to is in Ramsar, Iran. In certain areas of Ramsar, 203 millisieverts of annual radiation was recorded. Scientists have been trying to establish the effect of high level of background radiation on human health. So far, the data is not sufficient to draw definite conclusions. The high radiation levels are attributed to radioactive limestone from which the building in Ramsar are made of. Other than in Iran, there are also pockets around the world that have unusually high levels of background radiation. These include places in Australia, Brazil, India and China. Interestingly, air travel causes increased exposure to cosmic radiation. The average extra dose to flight personnel is 2.19 millisieverts per year. It should be also noted that in Japan, the maximum exposure limit for emergency response workers is set to be 250 millisieverts. Overexposure can result in acute radiation syndrome, which in turn can lead to skin changes, DNA damage, and cancer. 
Background radiation exposure can also increase due to the food that we eat, the liquids that we drink, and even the cigarette that we smoke. In fact, it is through the natural decay of radioactive isotopes in a fossil that scientists are able to accurately estimate the age of a fossil. Carbon dating is a technique that is used in this regard. It has to be understood that for most living organisms, the main source of energy is carbon-based diet. In nature, there exists carbon-14 atoms which are a variant of the carbon atom. Carbon-14 is radioactive. Now, in a living organism, the amount of carbon-14 in the body remains almost constant and is replenished by the intake of food. But when the organism dies, the amount of carbon-14 reduces because of beta decay. Scientists can record the amount of beta decay and from that predict the amount of carbon-14 in a fossil. As the time it takes for a certain amount of carbon-14 to decay is known, scientists can determine the age of the fossil. Coming back to Hulk, we have established that yes, genetic mutation can occur from exposure to radiation. It is also clear that the amount of energy required by Hulk for its own metabolism would not be natural glucogenic metabolism. It would be in fact radioactive metabolism of some kind. If that is the case, then this would mean that Hulk would have to either feed on radioactive materials for energy or somehow convert background radiation into a source of power for itself. The latter is more plausible than the former because if Hulk would have high amount of radioactive material inside himself, he would be a danger to his colleagues even when being Bruce Banner. Harnessing background radiation as a source of energy is an interesting idea that is actually being explored by Duke University in the US. And with this, the video on the science of Hulk is concluded. Thank you for watching. If you learned from it, do give it a thumbs up. We have many more videos in the science from comic book series which explore Batman, Iron Man, Spider-Man and others. Subscribe to the channel for many more such videos. Thank you for your attention.